Hello everyone, you all are welcome once again to the Live Love World Message Studio. And if this is your first time coming across this channel and you don't want to miss messages like this that we're posting on this channel, then kindly go hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video. And if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee, then kindly use the thanks, the thanks button below. We we'll gladly appreciate it. So on this message today, I'm going to go to Rent the Grace or Academy. We'll be talking about some revelations that God showed him. So I urge you all to watch this video to the end. And if you have anything at all to tell us about this video, then do not forget to leave a comment on the comment section. And do not forget to share this message as well for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world. And it's also help this channel to grow. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you and keep watching. He said, yes. He said, darkness shall cover the earth. He said there'll be problems left, right, and center. Problems everywhere. Challenges everywhere. Darkness shall cover the earth. Poverty, sickness, disease, famine, hunger shall cover the earth. And gross darkness shall cover the people. He said you hear problems everywhere. People will be trying and failing, trying and failing. Governments will be crumbling. He said, behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Brothers and sisters, the darker the night, the more brightly the light shines. When God tells you it's your year of shining, there is something he did not tell you, which he has actually said. What he's telling you is there will be terrible darkness. He's telling you that people are going to suffer like they never did in their lives. He's telling you. He's telling you of troubles, tempests, trials that the world has never seen before. Didn't you see it? Verse 1 is not alone. It goes into verse 2 and into verse 3. Look at it. It's not alone. Because verse 2 starts with the word for. So verse 1 is not finished until you enter verse 2. Verse 2 is not completed until you enter verse 3. Because verse 3 begins with the word and. So that is what it's telling you. That verses 2 and 3 are connected to verse 1. So it tells you about the light. The glory. And it tells you about the darkness. And then he says, you see, he says, light, darkness. Then he says, gross darkness. Why? Because of glory. Glory is more than light. It is the beauty of light. When he says gross darkness, it is more than darkness. It is the intensity of the darkness. That is why he says to you, arise. He says, arise. And the only way to arise is by the power of the Holy Ghost. The power of the Holy Ghost. Nobody else can arise. Look at it. Nobody's left out. He says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people. No one is left out except those on whom the glory of the Lord shall rest. Elijah kept praying. He prayed and prayed and prayed. And then he said, is there anything happening? The man said, I see something. 
He said, it looks like a man's hand. Ah! Elijah said, that is it! That is it! The servant didn't think that was it. He was not excited. Sometimes there are things that are happen and the spiritually uneducated, the one that is not alert in the realm of the spirit, doesn't realize that that is the thing. So he says, look, he said, lift up your eyes, look and see something is happening. If it was obvious to everybody, he wouldn't tell you, look and see. Because everybody would know. But everybody doesn't know it. He said, look. Many are looking. But are not seeing. He said, look and see. It may look like a man's hand. Ha, ya, ya. But Elijah knew. It was the hand of God. He said, look and see he said all oh, they gather together what is happening he said they are coming to you he said and kings shall come to the brightness of your rising listen kings are not coming to your brightness they're not coming to your brightness but to the brightness of your rising in other words it is the brightness that is caused by your rising that the kings are coming to it was when you arose that they realized that the brightness they saw was because of you come on shout amen somebody look at it here look at it look at it verse 3 And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Can you shout amen, somebody? The Gentiles, the heathen, shall come to your light. As your light is shining, they will say, look, something is happening over there, and they will come to you. But kings will know that it happened because of you and they shall come to the brightness of your rising shout amen the question now is have you arisen okay thank you all for watching that wonderful episode and i believe you're blessed by that message and if this is your first time coming across this channel and you haven't subscribed yet and you don't want to miss messages like this we're posting on this channel and can little hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so i'll be the first to get notified whenever we post a video and if you like what we're doing on this channel that you want to support us in any way or you want to buy us a coffee and kindly use the thanks button below we'll gladly appreciate it and i want to use this special moment to invite you all to be at the uh, 31st night's eve with Pastor Chris, with Little Ben of the Chris Oyakidoni, this evening by 7 p.m. dot. Okay, and I want to use this special moment also to plead with you all to share this message as well for it to help us to share the gospel of Christ all around the world and it to also help this channel to grow. Thank you all and stay tuned till we see you next time. We love you and God bless you.